Today, I want to convey some information on motion sickness. Motion sickness is the uneasiness or discomfort that one's feel when they travel by any mode of transportation, be it bus, car, or any vehicle, unusual from their uh, routine. Usually when we travel or move forward, there are different organs that convey signals to our brain. Any conflicts between these organs, for example, eyes, joint spaces, or uh, the ear, which contains vestibular apparatus, they usually convey the signals to brain to coordinate our movements and maintain balance. Any conflicts between these signals usually causes motion sickness. Motion sickness symptoms can be of varying types. Some may experience tightness in the chest, sweating in the palms, or excessive salivation, vomiting, nausea. They can, they can also experience reeling sensation or giddiness, extreme tiredness, or they, one can experience drowsiness also. If you are on an airplane and you experience these symptoms of motion sickness, try to occupy the seat which is nearer to the wings so that the, these symptoms can be kept to minimum as the balance is more. If you are on a ship, you can come onto the deck and watch at the horizon so that your symptoms can be eliminated to some extent. If at all you experience any symptom of motion sickness, we advise you to get some fresh air immediately. If at all your windows are up, try to get them down and get some fresh air. If you're focusing on any phone or book, try to put them aside and focus on distant scenery in the direction of moving vehicle. Please do not look to the vehicles which are moving fastly beside you. Always see that you sit beside the driver's seat so that motion sickness will be to minimum. You can have chewing gums, uh, ginger type, or any sort of chewing gums to alleviate the symptoms of motion sickness. Occupressure bands are also available for long travelers who can control their motion sickness symptoms by means of occupressure bands. Rather than the distance, the acceleration of the vehicle with which it is moving usually influences the symptoms of motion sickness. The more velocity the vehicle moves with, the more symptoms the one, one can experience. So uh, I rely that uh, motion sickness is dependent on the acceleration of vehicle rather than distance. Usually in adults who commonly have motion sickness but they need to travel, we usually prescribe medicines and antiemetics are also being prescribed. But in case of children, we usually don't want to give any sort of medications. So we ask the parents to, to practice deep breathing exercises to cultivate the habit of deep breathing exercises while traveling in children. They can be adapted for listening to soft music. This can also help. Small chewing gums, which contain ginger, they can help in elevating the symptoms of motion sickness in children. Mm -hmm.